Ah, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, I know it's been a while. It's all good. We're going to chop it up. That's weird. That noise is weird. But anyway, today we're going to talk about five things, five ways you should be using ChatGPT to make money. It should, it should, you should be doing it right now, today. But first, let's go to that intro. Listening to Content and Cash, a Flash Film Academy podcast. If you want to learn how to take pretty pictures, this is not the place. But if you're ready to make a living by learning the business behind the camera, buckle up because it's time to turn passion into profit with your host, Ty Turner. What is going on? I know it's been a while since I've been on here live for a minute, but we're going to get right into it. We're going we gonna to chop it up. We're going to talk about a few things real quick. And most importantly, I want to talk about five ways you should be using ChatGPT right now, right now to get money, to get to grow your business. And if you're not a member of ChatGPT, you may want to consider it because these are things that I would usually outsource and hire people to do that will make you some money. All my gold members, sit tight. We're going to come to you in a minute and bring you on and talk about your wins. But uh, first, let's let's get right to it. Let's get right to it real quick, because I know usually when I go live, um, I show some love. So there you go. There's the love that you get. So there you go. So let's talk about a few things. Let's talk about let's start with number five and let's get right into it. Let's get right in to it give me one second let's pull that here number five is really easy right you should be using chat gpt for your marketing emails definitely for your marketing emails let's do that because chat gpt can write the best marketing emails especially when it knows and understands what your brand is when it knows and it understands what your brand is you should be using that once you feed it that information and tell it to create marketing emails, it should be creating market marketing emails. Let me post that for you too. So you shouldn't have, a, you should be using it to create a ton of marketing emails. And if you are a gold member, if you are on the app, we're going to, after I give you these five, we'll give you two bonus ones that you can start using to make money in the next 30 days. All right, so you can get this thing going so you can make money in the next 30 days. All right, number two is you should be using ChatGPT to write follow-up emails for proposals. A lot of people are using it for other things, but you should be using it to write follow-up. Your follow-up email for your proposal should be written for you using AI. I found some very dope things when I started using AI to write those emails for me. Um, number three is you should be using it to create SEO friendly website copy, SEO friendly website copy. If you got module one, you know, we talked about how to build your website, what should be on your website, what type of proof you need. And, and we talk about places that you can hire to develop your SEO. You should be using chat GPT to help you write SEO friendly sales copy. It's very good at that. Once you feed it information about your brand, what you do, who your target audience is. Those are things that you can't just say, write me this. It'll write it, but it's not going to write it in a way where it will be SEO friendly. And it's not going to write it in a way that targets your target audience. So real important that you guys do that. All right. Post where you guys are from down below. I love to know where you guys are from, everybody that's tuning in on the YouTube side. Um, let's talk about a few other things. Number four is you should be using it to create social media copy for you or for your client. We don't write any of our clients SEO copy anymore. We feed chat GPT the information about our client, their target audience, and we tell it to develop copy for us. Chat GPT will also create the hashtags needed for that copy. That's a lot of people don't know. You're paying money for some hashtag app. You're, you're fine trying to find all these hashtags 
and chat gpt can give you a good list of hashtags and it can write it if you tell it hey this was for tiktok it'll write it with the right amount of characters for that platform so you should be using it for that um and last but not least number five is you should be using it of course to write video scripts you should be using it to write your video scripts i love chat gpt for video scripts because you can go back and say yo make this more direct make this more direct do this do that fix this make it more that all the information i get from clients i can instantly give them an update because i'm using chat gpt and a lot of people don't understand how great it is so you should be using it for those five things i'm gonna go over them one more time and then we're gonna get to our gold members about wins and our gold members should be pumped because i just got finished hanging out with all of them down in vegas last week but we ain't gonna talk about what happened in vegas because that stays in vegas and some stuff happened in vegas we ain't gonna act like it didn't some stuff went down in vegas we ain't gonna you know we, we've moved on from purple dress we got a few other a few other things that uh we'll talk about later we'll talk about later we ain't gonna we ain't gonna point no people out you're right you, you're right tony don't we ain't gonna say nothing um, so again, let me go over Let me go over uh, some, let me go over the, the five things again. So stay good. Jay says, um, to keep good, good SEO, you want to have, you want to rewrite some, I have a rewrite some by, by humans. I agree. But, but if you, let's say you're in a position where you're like, Hey, I can't afford to get somebody to write it. Chat GPT will get you more than going. There's a service that I like to use. Again, I talk about it in module one. That is a platform I like to use for my website. And then there's a service I like to use, which is fairly inexpensive for my SEO. And it has caused me to get tons of clients organically for years. I'm to the point now where even if I don't do marketing, I'm still getting five to six calls per month. I'm turning down people. IBC visuals say, um, use it for shot lists. Um, or packaging yes and no the only di the only thing is it's difficult for it to create a shot list if it doesn't know your full um shoot so i'm a little weary on that um i do like it for marketing emails because i can feed in information about my brand based off the copy from my website so it have and, and directly tell it who my target audience is and then say write me a write me a marketing email um, next, follow-up emails for proposals. I like to feed it my proposal and say, write me a follow-up email. Change it to the tone to be this. Be more direct on that. Talk about the deadline more. Um, push the upsells, and it will write you something brilliant for that. Number three is I like to create website copy. Listen, I'm from the hood. I'm from the hood. It is what it is. I'm from the D, right? I'm from Detroit. I talk like I'm from Detroit. I know how to clean it up and speak you know, when it's time to clean it up and speak, but that doesn't always translate in my writing. So it's a, it's a place where, um, I tend to have some conflict sometime and that's, it's all good. Like, it, you know, it's all good. It is what it is, you know, but I ain't trying to write nobody emails like, all right, chief, you know, hit me back. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you write and you like, dang. So chat GPT allows me to say what I want to say in a, in a way that is universally accepted. If you know what I mean, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. So that's what I love about it. So I use it to write website copy that appeal to people other than myself, because myself, I am not my target audience. Someone who is working for a company in an executive position or in a position where they have the ability to pull the trigger on things like this. They are my target audience. So I want to appeal to them. Sometimes it's people that are older than me, people that may be from a different ethnicity than not myself. Sometimes people who, because I live in Texas and I'm from Detroit, they're born and raised in Texas and they have a different way of talking that I may miss. It took me years to realize when somebody said, bless your heart, it wasn't a compliment down here in Texas, but it is what it is. So I like to use, these are things that I would hire copywriters to do. It would take days to get back and, you know, a couple dollars to get going. Now I can um, use this tool to write it instantly. I hate waiting on people. I am such a let's do it type of guy. When it's in my mind and I'm ready to go, I'm ready to do it. Chat GPT gives me that ability. 
So I also want to say after this, we're going to do a random Q&A for about 10 minutes. So if you guys got questions, get them ready, just in general. Um, so I like to use it to create website copy that speaks to my, my audience. Again, number four is I like to create social media copy. A lot of people just post pictures, but hey, chat GPT, write me up something about being on set that will um, push my target audience to give me a call about their project. Write me um, text for this behind the scenes video that my target audience can relate to. Things like that that I use and it'll give me, hey, and, and you'll be surprised at the things that it do that you may not have thought about, like ending on a call to action. Like, like requesting that clients for more information, give us a call. You, there are things that you may not have been thinking of when writing your past um, copy for your social media that, that may help your business. These are ways you should be using this or should have been using this yesterday that have really, really helped my engagement on social media platforms and my website. And last but not least, I like to use ChatGPT to write video scripts. It is extremely good at writing video scripts. You probably can write a movie on it. It is extremely good. Like, again, these are five things that you used to hire copywriters for. These are five places that you would spend money that can now go back in your pocket, you know, that you can use on marketing or other things that guess what? You can now use, you know, to do whatever you want to do with. So it's so, so, so important that you, you think of that as you look to uh, find ways to cut corner. And I know a lot of people are just getting started. I know a lot of people are just getting started. Um, and you don't have the resources to go, you know, 50 different places. You don't have the resources to do that. So this is a way where you can save some money and use this tool to get you started. Is it better than somebody with 20 years in the game? Probably not. Is it cheaper? Absolutely. So use it to get started. This will get you off the ground. Just like y'all use, um, just like y'all use this channel to help you understand enough about business to make some money to come back and either join the membership or buy a course or whatever use chat gp that see that way edifying pursuits good looking out on a super chat i haven't got a super chat in like a year appreciate you bro let's put that on the screen there we go let's make that make that big boom appreciate you bro i almost forgot what it's like um so so let's make sure we do that and then you know once you implement these things, it's going to take about 90 days before you start to see traction. But again, what do it cost you to implement them? Nothing. Now, again, my gold members, we're going to chop it up. We go, we're going to, um, I'm going to tell you two more ways I use it that will really turn stuff around in about 30 days. It will, it'll turn stuff around in about 30 days. But I'm going to say those two for you when we switch over. Um, if you're watching on YouTube and you got questions, general questions, go ahead, post them in the comments because we're going to go real fast today. We ain't going to be, I got to, you know, I got to get to the gold members. We got to chop it up. We got to rehash Vegas, uh, certain, certain aspects of it. We, like I said, we definitely ain't going to talk about it live on YouTube, but we're going to, a little bit of it, uh, going to happen, uh, in this after hour accountability meeting that we have every, uh, every, every, uh, Wednesday. Any gold members want to share any wins live on Fa on YouTube? If you do, go ahead and put your hand up and we can get you in on this thing. If not, we can wait until we get to the private mode. I get it. Uh, you know, it is what it is. We didn't get to the point where we got comfortable. For, for those who don't know, we still like this this live session, we do these every every week. We these conversations we have them every week. Um over on Flash Film Academy. We just, we don't do as much on Flash Film Media right now because, I mean, on YouTube because uh, YouTube uh, has a way of uh, blocking certain stuff. So we just, we go over there and we rock out. So the same crew still with us. We still doing it. Why can't I see my list? I'm missing a list of uh, people real quick. But we'll, we'll give people uh, a second to post. If you got general video questions or photography questions, 
we'll give you a second to go ahead and post that bad boy. Um, post that bad boy in the room. There we go, participants. All right, Romeo, we're gonna let you jump in here. Let me go to my. Go for it, bro. You guys can hear me? Loud and clear. How you doing? I'm sure Vegas was mad fun. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> it was. It was. It was. Yeah. It was. Yeah, crazy. I was jealous. I seen on social media. I'm glad you guys had fun. Um, got a couple of wins to share. Um, so uh, a couple of weeks back, I talked about like a beauty client that I had, and I was like tussling with her to mm -hmm. be able to um get the pri price ac across to her, and um. We ended up having a meeting about, I think it was Sunday it was. Um, it, it took like a week trying to get her to pay the uh, actual invoice. She was like, you know, down with it. Yes, I'm, I'm going to do it, whatever, whatever. But got delayed on, you know, the payment. And, you know, my itinerary is like every, I, I need two weeks before to shoot. You know, I like to just have that time and like to see where I'm placing my shoots and just giving me that space just in case anything happens. Again, two kids, stuff happens. I just want to have that. So. Yeah. She was pushing it to a point to where like it wasn't going within the two weeks, but also she wanted it to be done by a particular day, um, which ended up having to like push her on it and do some sale tactics. So it's like, hey, if you don't have it in by today, I'm busy. Somebody else is going to take your shoot, you know, and then it ended up coming to where, you know, it was like, hey, if I don't get it by like 11 a.m., like this, this paid deposit, it's not happening. Got a call. I don't know why you're acting like this, whatever, whatever. Hey, I have this to do, whatever, whatever. We went through the contract and then she just paid the whole invoice. So we have to shoot in two weeks. So that was like a whole month of, of work. So it was a good thing. Um, so that's that's one win. Um, another win is that uh, that big uh, stove company that I have going on, they actually went cold on me from the last time when I uh, spoke about it on the live. But I think they're having a change in like people there or something's going on. But um, basically another contact reached out to me and wanted me to send another invoice for another batch of videos because like the things changed and they wanted done like by May 10th. So I was able to like regain that client back and hopefully I could get that signed by, uh, you know, like at the end of this week. And just another one, I ended up going through a bunch of clients or leads that I had in the past from Bark, reached out to a bunch of them, had one reply. Turns out the guy lives two blocks away, like his location <laughs> is two blocks away from my home house. My, my home office. Uh, I was able to go over there in outfit and everything. Hey, you know, um, looked at his facility and we're talking about like marketing uh, every month for him and on a subscription base. Um, and I'm trying to close that by the end of this week as well. So it was like the three major wins that I had. And just, it just compounds mad hard. <laughs> that's, a, yeah, that's a huge win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's, yeah. That, that, Cause I know you were going back and forth. That's why I, I always push, you have to show importance with, you got to show that you're a busy company. Right. Hey, these are your deadlines. And I do it. The, I do it so that I'm not the bad guy. These are your deadlines. Right. Mm -hmm. um, to 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 maintain, you know, your deadlines, we have to move to move this ball like this is what I need by this date or I can't guarantee you success on with your project within your deadlines. Every great company is busy. Right. They just they have a, if you want to buy Jordans, you can't buy the color you want when you want. You got to buy them when they're available. You know what I'm saying? You got to You got to get all the great things have limited availability. So you're you have to have limited availability, um, especially and it's two ways to. You, sometimes you got clients that are on the fence and they're they got the money. They just some people just don't pay bills on time. Right. So to incentivize that companies charge late fees. They give you discounts for paying it early, you know, so you have to incentivize people to pay their bills and, and you got to push them to make sure they're not BSing you. One way to incentivize them is making sure that it's clear that if we need to meet your deadline, we need to get everything in order by this date. Also, the price quoted is based on this amount of time. Always put an expiration date on your proposal. Do not have somebody come to you three years later with a proposal mad at you because they can't get the price you quoted them three years ago. Don't do that. Let them know that this price is a limited price, limited time only. After that, the price will change. And guess what? They don't have to be super smart to realize the price is going up. Now, when they come back to you, let me give you another 
gym alert, when they come back to you, right, if you decide to do it for the price that's written, never say, okay, how much did I quote you? Let's do it. Nope. Listen, the price is X, Y, and Z. However, I like you. I'm going to discount the going price to match that. Now, if, if you pay the, the, the proposal by X, Y, and Z, again, I have, I hit them with a suflex. I got them and applied pressure back on them based off how they move. I like you. I know I quoted this price and right now it's about 22% more or look, you ain't even got to go back to that price. You can just say, Hey, instead of you paying 22% more, and I know I quoted you that price. We're just going to charge you 10% more if you guys pay the, pay the de deposit this week. You're using that to, to create an incentive to get them to move. Sometimes you may get pushback. No, nah, we need this price. It's up to you. It's up to you. I've had clients where I've done both. I've had clients that I really like. I really wanted to work with them. I felt like it was going to do wonders for my website, test them. Sometimes you, you give them that price and then they, you know, Hey, how about this? If you give us a testimonial, I'll give you that price or I'll, I'll take the 10% off. I'll take it down from 22% to 10%. Hey, if you write us a good review, use it. Use that stuff to your advantage. Businesses do it every single day, all day long. These are things that you should be doing. So, um, cause you don't want to be held hostage for your money. Don't want to be held hostage. Sue flex them, grab them, flip them, sue flex them, hook them up. So those are, those are really, really good wins and a little, little sprinkle of a lesson, but a real good win. I like that. That's what we're here for. That's, those are the things we talk about The kind of, you know, it may not have happened to you yet. But write them notes down because you're going to need them. You know what I'm saying? Going in this industry. Like, those are things that's like, let me learn from that. Your, your proposal need to have a time on it. If you're using Proposify, you can create an auto-generated time, which automatically is 30 days from the data sent out. There's things you can do to, to automate it. Because it, I've been to forgot that I added the date to it. I'm like, oh, snap. And I got clients blowing me up like, the date is tomorrow, but but we, you know what I'm saying? I had a client one time where um, it, it was like a $15,000 job and they could only put up to seven seventy five hundred dollars on their uh, American Express, their biz, business American Express at once. And it took time for, they had to submit paperwork for uh, the department to call American Express to increase that limit. And they were freaking out because they were like, we, we don't know when they're going to increase it. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. It could be Monday, but the deadline is Friday. So we, you know, they ended up, they asked me to split the bill and they put it on two different American Express cards. So that's just what they did to, to, to make it. And I'm in my mind, I'm thinking it's not a big deal, but I'm not going, I don't know if that's a real objection. If they're really going through that or they BSing me. So I'm not going to reduce the pressure. They waited to the 30th day to pay it. So I'm 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 not gonna reduce the pressure. Like they gon' they gonna eat it. So and they and they did. They split it up, made two seventy five hundred dollar payments. Um, I think that's what it was. It was it was more than that plus tax. So they probably made like two like eighty two hundred dollar payments. And I think they max was like ten grand or something per month or something like that per swipe. It was something weird on a card. Um, and I don't think it was an Air Max. I think it was a Visa or something. It was something like that where they like, we got the money, we got it. We just can't do it all in one swipe. So, but they end up getting it done in time. Um, so it worked out, but, but these are things that to help, you know, when, when I look at things that I do now to prevent myself from being in situations that I've been in, putting a, 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 a time frame on my proposals is definitely one of them. And you and learning how to use their their objections against them. Hey, you said you wanted it by the 10 for me to deliver it by the 10. I need everything from you by the 20th or I cannot uphold this deadline. Like that's something you got to punch them in the throat with, um, because if you miss it, I, I don't want somebody looking at me like I'm the bad guy. And they the one that didn't fill out the paperwork, even if it's a questionnaire, even if it's a payment, even if it's sending me your logo and your graphics. Like these are all things that um, you need to be mindful of when you're working with clients, especially corporate clients. They get deadlines. So any other wins? Anybody else got any wins or questions in the comments before we go to the to all gold everything? I'll give people a second to pop up.
because it can be a bit of a delay. Who else got the, uh, oh, wait, yeah. People a minute to pop on. Well, I can make a comment. Go for it. On uh, today's topic. Okay. I think it's pretty dope that you're talking about using um, chat GPT. I used it so much today, building out some stuff. I have named her Clarissa. But yeah, she's my assistant. Clarissa explains it all. That's what's and up. um it's it's really dope, you know, really learning how to work with it, making sure that you ask the right questions so that you can get what you're looking for. Cause sometimes if we're limited, and I believe you told me about this, if you're limited in how you're asking the questions, you're gonna limit its ability to give you what you're looking for and really tailor it to what it is you're trying to use it for. So for example, instead of just saying, Hey, this is kind of what I want to say can you make this better? Maybe, you know, tell them what your goal is. Like what you were saying, I would say, I want this to be sales driven, or I want this to, you know, be professional and really stress this. And then also ask for multiple drafts, all of that stuff. I love this thing. And I'm surprised we're not paying for it yet, but I'm going to use it as much as I can until they hit us with a monthly subscription. I mean, I got the, pro, I got the pro version. I got the $20 a month version. I feel like I got to give these folks something. Not for I didn't know they had a pro version. They have yeah. one. Yeah, they got a pro version. Oh. You don't gotta wait for nothing. You get you get access to everything. No, I'm about to look that up. I thought you was about to make a comment about Vegas. I was sweating. Okay, you good. <laughs> oh no, I'm not gonna say nothing about Vegas. Okay, you good. You good. Not a day. Not a thing. You cool with me? Uh, no, <laughs> you good with me? We got Creighton over here cooking some uh, ground beef. You gotta show us the ground beef. Hashtag win. Um. So yeah. So let's talk about uh. <laughs> I have something with the chat GDP real because I, I, I used it yeah. as well, like recently too. So it's funny how we're talking about this, like once again, um, I actually used it. I don't know if I should be saying this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I, I, that Vans pitch that I, I told you guys about, like I actually used um, that program to like write a lot of it out. Like I brought the ideas to it and we switched it, but it wrote a lot of it out in a pitch format. And then um, when I got the feedback, it was like taken well from like people who review pitches. Right. So Oh, I used it for that. And I just recently used it today for uh, social media. I posted something that I did with a client uh, for like beauty products, the same client actually that when we first started working together and I wrote out something this morning with it and trying to see it. and it wrote out the hashtags for me, it's targeted to like the audience that I, that I want it in the area and it did it in like different formats. So um, it is crazy how we're not paying for it yet. I use it like all the time. So, and it. for SEO too, I've done that too. I just recently did that as well. I, I use it for st stuff as simple as hashtags. Give me some hashtags. Like, let's talk hashtags for, for uh, TikTok and Instagram. So, yeah. Something to definitely, definitely keep in mind. Well, we got no more questions coming in. Everybody checked out. We're going to get to the gold side of things. So, everybody that's gold, y'all can sit tight. I'm giving people a few seconds to, to, to jump in. We got Luke. You still recovering from Vegas? You good? You good? You all right? I just want to make sure you good. You, you, just want to make sure you uh you 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 good over there, bro. New phone, I'm muted, but I'm good, bro. <laughs> I've been working all day. Shit. <laughs> I've been working like double hours because I fucking took that like week off because my flight got delayed. I was like, well, that fucked the whole rest of my week. Luke, so. remember where we are, yeah, we, darling. We don't. We on YouTube. We on YouTube. We hold on. Yeah. <laughs> we on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. We gonna, Sorry, we gonna, Ty. You good. You good. We, I, shouldn't yeah, my get, bad, bro. I shouldn't get flagged for two or three of them, but we good. It's late in the what's the name. It's all good. <laughs> Luke, like, yeah, we still in Vegas. We just going. Anyway, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That go to show you, man. We uh we talk about it. We ain't gonna um make sure we got anything else in the, in the comments before I get ready to go. Okay, go remember sit tight. We're gonna get ready to go to the gold side. I just want to get on here and make it short and sweet. Punch all in the throat with a few things. As soon as we go to the gold side, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about two more things. Luke, I'm I'm good. I love it. Uh, two more two more ways to use it, um, to help grow your business a lot faster, even faster. So everybody that's watching on uh YouTube, appreciate you for coming out. This video will be available for about an hour. After that, it's going to the academy. Uh, we got Carlos. What's up, man? You good? You got what you, you? I'm good. Is my stuff looking kind of weird on here? No, you it look, is right. You, you look, yeah, you good. Be good, man. I got some wins I want to share, but I'm gonna share it in the after hours. You ain't, you ain't gonna give them a taste. You ain't gonna give them a taste of the wins. All right, I'll give you a taste. Okay, thirty eight thousand four hundred dollars. Oh, that's the taste. Oh, that's what they need to hear. Okay, say yeah, that. Say so that number. Thirty eight thousand four hundred. It is a company record high, uh, which is which is pretty good. So. 
It's awesome. Uh, if y'all with me, NAB, uh, I talked about it a little bit. We talked, we showed a proposal around. And so uh, if you saw it, it was great. And then uh, in the after hours, I'd love to get a little bit more into it. Talk about it. Let's do that. Okay. That's how we're going to end it. We're going to end it like that. Uh, sit tight, guys. We're going to let me, let me chop it up with the YouTube guys. And then we're going to end it. All right. Sit tight. Sit tight. Well, there you have it. Uh, you know, it is what it is. If you uh, got the app, feel free to sign on to get that to watch it on the app. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna chop it up and uh, you know, we're gonna talk we're gonna talk some wins, we're gonna talk some money, we're gonna talk some dollars, uh, and we're gonna do that over on the gold side. So if you are a gold member, you can look everybody firing up cameras now. If you are a gold member, I'll see you on that side. If not, be safe. I see you in the next video. Uh NAB content will be coming soon. Definitely.